Hello everyone, I'm Greg Luke. thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 70 of Factorio with the C-Block mod, where we are just working on this new setup for iron production, because we want something that only produces iron and no byproducts, well, except for stone, I guess, but we can handle that. Should we handle it locally, actually? Because we can just make it into mineralized water and clarify it. But on the other hand, we are going to need stone on the bus. Mm, at least I think we do. The science is obviously made different in this mod pack. So as an ingredient, well, we need for belt and ore crushes and furnaces and brick and rail but we don't need rail for any production or any science i guess so that's not really nothing maybe it wasn't really well we need to build i don't think we get a better argument than that Power these. And we need to plans for power. Let's get some mineral catalysts and sapphire and that in there. We have the catalyst right here. And they just go in here. Where are we in regards to other builds? Actually, why have we based ourselves here? Also, we need space for fuel still. Maybe this is not the greatest placement. I guess we would want to line up with this stuff. and have room to get some fuel past, whether it's in wood brick form or charcoal form or even carbon form, I guess. Mm. For this we only need it as fuel though, so it would just be charcoal, I think. Well, let's... Let's actually not bring anything in then. Let's try and design the next step, see if we have room to integrate the fuel production in it, or if we want to do that beforehand, I guess. Sure. We need three of these. And let's disable our nanobots again. To five of these. Let's say to six, I guess. And then to five of these. We need a belt or a pipe in there. So this is basically the narrowest we can make it. And that's not too bad. Need output, we would need oil in, and we would need some fuel in potentially. Unless we want to make this something symmetrical like this stuff. We could try that. But let's okay. let's finish this thought first. So we need fuel. We could bring in just the wood and then make charcoal right here. Put onto the belt for everything. Or even just have the wood brick here and have a 
furnace next to each of those. That's probably simpler, actually. They could also just use the wood brick directly, but that's what we're trying to avoid. We get a lot more fuel value out of charcoal. So I think I like the idea of just having a f normal furnace next to each of those. Have any furnace? It's not on me, but I can make some. Well, yes, on me. Well, whatever. So we need a bunch of input of the ore here. It's five per second to each machine. Also, are we close to getting tier two of these? Yeah, we can just do that. And it's 50% faster. Is that the same with these? It is. So we could probably just have two of these. I mean, I guess we should do that. Start planning everything for tier 2 here. Can we get the induction furnace and casting machines tier 2 as well? Yes, and it's 50% faster, and same with the casting machine, okay. So I guess we should start doing that. Again, we will need to do a little bit of manual work to begin with, but I'm okay with that. If this is a little bit more future proof already. So now it's just 2 for 10. We'll cut that. And we need to get 7.5 or in now per second. But I think this is fine for that. And so we could have a furnace here being input and Output like that. And then some power here, I guess. Something like that. Or we could try to make it symmetrical. Maybe if we can make that match this, it would be nice. We have two belts with ores out here. So we could grab the ore. But we don't have the space for to set up like this, so we would have to make it a lot wider. Or would we? What if we move these out and just squish this in here? This part we definitely need, right? Yes. Let's redesign this part because I can't figure it out otherwise. So a bunch of input. It's hard to tell how much we would need, how many inserters, I mean. If 
So they can do more than a full rotation per second. And we only need to do a 45 degree turn. Then that's something like 8 times per second, I think. 45 by 2 is 90, by 4 is 360. So that's 8, yeah. So 2 should be enough, I think. Then we have a little bit extra space for the furnace. Let's just see how much space do we actually have to work with. We need the ore and fuel in, so we do need to be in there. Then we could have the output built with underground sections in the middle here. I'm not sure why I'm trying to squish this together so hard, but... And this doesn't look too bad. It just does in... Well, next to this stuff. I really prefer to try and keep everything as dense as possible, I guess. Can we get this in one more tile? Maybe we can. Let's take this. Now, if we have fuel on the catalyst belt, or fuel on the ore belt, and only output to one side of it here, that would be nice. So this is basically the closest we are going to get. Should be able to handle that, right? Yes. We can't have both insert us and no wait we need four outputs from these dang it so that's not the best idea ever but these can move out to there i guess we need at least two spaces in here and to make it symmetrical with all of this we might as well make it three tiles Oh, and we should work towards robots and better nanobots. So we do have two tiles to work with here. We can do whatever we want with it. Also, we need input for this, well, from this uh, catalyst belt, but we'll figure that out in a bit. That shouldn't be too tough. What do we want? Well, it's really the fuel that is a little bit annoying. But if we have the input here, and we agreed that that 
two inserters should be able to handle that. And it makes it a little bit easier to output as well. Then we can, I guess... Can't have a furnace here, but we could have it over here, I guess. You input the all. This might not be fast enough because these are not equally long, but we shall see. We can add in another, I guess, or something. We'll figure it out. And we can input fuel there. Power everything. That's not too bad. Can't mirror this right? No, because it contains fuel. But this should all be fine, right? And we just need to get the ore out from in there. Or we put the ore on the outer belt and have the catalyst on the inner belt, actually. That's easier, I think. We do need more output of ore than we have input of catalyst, though, but I think it's fine. I think this is what I want. And we need everything powered, of course, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I don't like that this triangle is not... well. Nice, I guess I would want this down here, I guess, but whatever. I'm ignoring that for now. And these will have to handle a lot of pipe so they should be angled as well but we will do that in a little bit are we missing anything maybe those and we need to finish this up anyway but i think I'm happy with this setup. And we can try putting it next to everything else here without nanobots doing anything. That looks really... Oh, we need the stone out of here, so we can't do this right there, at least. Mm. Do we just leave some space in here for a lot of belts of stone, maybe? 
and then we would eventually oh, we would move this down a bit just to be able to get it out. Then maybe we should also just have a belt of fuel in here so we don't have to try and bring it past whatever else we are doing. I sort of like that idea. Stone, 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 stone. But then it does take a lot of space, of course, but... We really just need one fuel belt. Now this produces just one-fourth of a belt, I guess. So we could have 16 of these setups to fully use these belts up. Maybe we would be okay with only 12 and then we can have the fuel on one of them. And then we have that there. I think we're gonna hate a narrow setup or a close setup like this at some point when we need to handle chunks and crystals and stuff as well, but maybe we just don't plan for that in this setup. Maybe we have some space between those setups and everything is good. It's nice just throwing the problem away ahead of you so you don't have to worry about it. So I think that's what we're doing. Am I missing something? I probably forgot something, but maybe not. This creates a full belt of iron now. That sounds great. We just need to move this all down a bit and somewhere else, like out here. Go nanobots. They sure have gotten faster, that's nice. We just want them even faster than that. Oh, you don't go in there. Disable robots. I do need to transfer power here. So if we don't really need that belt, we could just do that right here. We don't have anything else that's close anyway, so we do need that extra pole, I think. Oh, and we needed all of this to move down a little bit so we have room to get the stone out. Let's just say that we squeeze four belts in there. One of them for fuel. If this is fuel, it's probably gonna go the other way. How is it easiest to get that in there if these need to go out and to the right here? Could try and put it on this side, but then it would be more difficult to get stone onto their belts all the time. But 
by more difficult is just one underground belt for the but then it's also more difficult to get the fuel into where that needs to go so let's try and keep it here just need to get it in there can just do that like that. That takes some more space though. like that maybe but then we can't have this but we can we can't get the fuel in there this needs to go here an underground belt that is more than four tiles long for that can of course just leave some extra space that's just the eternal problem here i don't want to waste space and i like keeping stuff tidy Do something ugly like this. And we're only using the three tiles here. But then again, it would still be tough to get the fuel in. I feel like. So maybe we should just ignore my mental problems here and just leave a little bit extra space in between. What if we just put it back there? Can we get you onto a belt here that also needs to merge with this? It's tough, but if we only have all on the near side here, we can just do that. But we're still not getting the fuel in there, so I think we need to move down just a little bit more. There, maybe. Well, that can go there instead. And we could just put that directly in there, but let's go down here, just for whatever reason. Sure, I think that could work. How about down here? We want to keep the fuel on the outside for symmetry of resources as well. Not really. 
I mean, it's not really symmetrical in here anyway. We have stone here and resources here. I'm spending so much time on this. I think we just do that. Having all on the far side of this belt, or the bottom of the belt. Where's the fuel transfer for this though? I haven't thought about that. Can just move this one tile. Put it here. That's probably the easiest way. I think this is what we're doing, and I think everything is put where we want it. Let's just triple check that. It seems good. Let's just try this. Of course, we actually need to make some of these machines in a bootstrap setup, but oh well. Now catalyst comes down. Right, so let's just enable the robots and start this research. And we want it all on the outer belt, so we need catalysts on the inner belt. Right? Or would it be better to have the ore on the inner belt and then merge in a different way, I think? That's worth looking into. Let's just keep this here for now. Are we running out of belt? Yeah, we are. Okay, so we just need to produce some of these machines and get everything in. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.